Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. Um, the news over the last two months or so has kind of nearly exclusively focused around um, one company. Maybe you can guess who they are. It's BlackRock. Yeah, that that one. Um, the issue. I mean, there's not really an issue uh, per se. the The issue is is that. As I've gone over in a number of other videos, there are a lot of other companies who are also in this space. For whatever the reason might be, people are nearly exclusively focusing on BlackRock. We pre <laughs> Previously, we had BlackRock and Fidelity. Um, and then even more so before that, the narrative was kind of around MicroStrategy. The issue with a lot of the news that ends up coming out is I think that people think that people only want a certain type of news and or surrounding a certain company. Uh, you might remember a number of years ago when Tesla's stock was beginning to rise and like rapidly ascend, uh, the news was nearly that Tesla was doing extremely well in the stock market. But they were missing that around 13, 14 other companies who didn't have a flashy name like Tesla were also doing extremely well. And this is why we were hearing uh, during 2020 and 2021 the amount of companies uh, who were doing exceedingly well and they were making, you know, 47 million, billion, excuse me, billion dollars in profits um, as people were basically told to stay home. The other thing that we currently have right now is that while BlackRock is making a significant contribution uh, to the amount of money that's flowing in the cryptocurrency space, there are also other companies who are doing the exact same thing. I've made sure that you all, I mean, once again, I've made sure on a daily basis do, that you all know and see what's currently going on as well. I, tr I try my best a lot of times there's so much news and it's difficult. I, I'm not going to make like five videos per day on this channel simply because it's just way too much. But the news is constant. It's always ever flowing, if you will. Um, when we hear that there are other companies or things in the space, I've learned that a lot of people... The, the term isn't even face value. A lot of times people will sit there and they act like the news isn't interesting because the news isn't directly coming from the source that they want to hear from or about. So you may hear that Google and Amazon and Facebook and et cetera, et cetera, and, and Zoom, okay, are doing well in 2020, 2021. But once again, Tesla had the entire narrative. The amount of Bitcoin that is available for everyone on the planet continues to dwindle. Can we agree on that? Cool. You might have noticed as prices rise, uh, there's less Bitcoin on exchanges. That's because people are buying them. I told you before that the floodgates had basically opened in, in, in January. The idea was that while we had those ETF issuers, uh, everyone else realized, especially people who had money, realized who was actually in the game. Why all these people were so significant and how much Bitcoin that they were going to accumulate. We've had news similar to this before, but the problem is that it didn't make popular news. Remember when we heard that Tether was, was buying a massive, and still is buying all the time, a massive amount of Bitcoin, didn't make it into really popular news. The same exact way I assumed that we heard that MicroStrategy, four, the three or four times this year, had already bought tons of Bitcoin. You know who's also buying tons of Bitcoin? The other companies who already had ETFs around the world. Yeah, they've, they've had ETFs for around two, three, something or so years. The issue is, is that they didn't gain popularity or they weren't as popular in the news because it didn't have to do with an entire weird corruption struggle from Gary Gensler and the SEC. The news today is that a number of years ago, we heard that there were a couple of European countries uh, who were really, really into Bitcoin, and Germany was one of them. So when this news popped up, I was like, oh, whoa, everyone's going to be talking about it. 
No, no, it wasn't even remotely popular news. They are called DWS, a prominent asset manager with over 900 billion, not 900 million, over 900 billion dollars in assets has launched, the, the, the names are a bit ridiculous, you'll see. Uh, they've launched what they're calling an X Trackers Exchange Traded Commodities ETC in collaboration with Galaxy Digital. Can you guess what they're doing? Anybody? Yeah, they made their own ETF. They said since the first Bitcoin transaction in 2009, digital assets have developed from a niche technology innovation to a globally recognized asset class. With a combined market cap of more than 1.7 trillion US dollars, Bitcoin and Ethereum alone are now too significant for investors and asset managers to ignore, end quote, which is also something that I thought was, and I'm glad that they said it as well. I don't know if you've seen the last two or three weeks, there's been this really weird campaign uh, from these larger hedge funds and these other uh, ETF managers who are simply, and I mean, you can go somewhere else, uh, who are announcing that they're, that they're not into Bitcoin, they don't like Bitcoin, and they won't be offering Bitcoin ETFs. And I'm like, do, do you think that's supposed to make significant news? Am I supposed to care? Because you're not offering what the person across the street is also offering, especially as people are making tons of money. <clears throat> so we're in this really weird second round of, well, I'm not going to offer it because it's Bitcoin. And it's like, well... That's cool. I hope you have fun in your current economic position as everyone else ends up making tons of money as Bitcoin rises rapidly in price. They're calling it, the name is ridiculous, the X Trackers, like it's literally the letter X and then the word trackers in one word. The X Trackers Galaxy Physical Bitcoin ETC is now listed on the German Stock Exchange and is going to be backed, this, they say this number, but you understand. It's backed one to one with Bitcoin, um, just Bitcoin. So, how do you, as a company, offer Bitcoin to people without? Ah, wait. So that means they are also buying Bitcoin as well. I am so confused. I would have never thought that. Remember a number of years ago where we had all the German banks and the American banks? There were hundreds. You might remember hundreds of banks. Who were talking about offering cryptocurrency Bitcoin to their clients. Remember, I was like, why is no one talking about the fact that they have to buy this Bitcoin to be able to offer it to their to their clients? So in typical fashion, uh, because this had nothing to do with Gary Gensler and the SEC and there was no really weird fight. Uh, there are Bitcoin ETFs all around the world already. And a lot of them have billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin. You want to know something even crazier is that they're still buying Bitcoin. So while you might hear that, uh, what should we call it? That Fidelity and BlackRock are you know, half a billion dollars per day. What doesn't end up making the news is when someone buys 50. It's a shame. It's a Snoop Dogg on shame. When someone buys $50 million worth of Bitcoin and it just doesn't make headlines anymore. That's not for this company. I'm sure they have a lot more than 50 million dollars but you understand exactly what i'm talking about so yeah the etfs continue to expand other countries while they may pretend like they don't wink know what's going on no they know exactly what's going on when you talk about we had that conversation years ago this there was some asset manager he said when the crypto market passes by a trillion dollars he said you can't ignore it anymore it that's more than the gdp of a number of countries. And this is a brand new market. This is why we end up talking, you know, when we have those conversations of a, of a $10 million Bitcoin, it's the idea that if Bitcoin is this gigantic now, at some point, nation states and banks and corporations will have to get some. They won't be able to ignore it. The problem, the, pr the problem here, my friends, lies in the fact that we have individual companies who are buying up 10, 20, 30,000 Bitcoin every couple of months. There are going, there are going to be countries. There are going to be millionaires. There are going to be billionaires on this planet 
who will not, who will not, who will not be able to ever own an entire Bitcoin. They will mathematically not be able to do so. Ever. An entire Bitcoin? Never. They won't be able to do it. Everyone understand what I'm saying? So, when we end up getting to a $5 trillion and to a $10 trillion market and Bitcoin is at $250,000, the mad rush will, of course, continue. It's very simple. It's, it's, it's just, just basic supply and demand. So, uh, I come to bring you the news that other ETFs are launching around the world. There are already tons of other bit physical Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs with these companies have been buying up these coins for a while. So while the narrative usually rests on the shoulders of um, BlackRock, just understand that no rich people have been buying for a while. They're all buying it behind the scenes just because we, just because we, me, you, we don't hear um, about this, these, these levels of buying because it's always BlackRock in the news doesn't mean that it's happening. It's ap actually happening qu quite a lot. That's why I mentioned before for those, no, last point. Um, while we may hear the accumulation numbers uh, from BlackRock, it's probably around a good 30 to 40x of what Bitcoin is currently being created per day that's being accumulated, just mathematically and logically. Yeah, I do hope that you have all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day. Morning! Afternoon, evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be, I do hope it is absolutely fantastic. It's way too close to me. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.